What is up, Facebook? I'm going to give it a minute because, you guys, I, um, I need to start announcing when I go live again because this takes a little, little bit. I just got done doing a training for my, um, for my, my team, and it was super exciting. Uh, talk about being fired up. So um, we do daily team trainings in, inside our group. So I'm really excited because this is something I talked about inside our team training that I just want to, um, uh, obviously um, my live will not be as long as the team training was, but I want to talk about something that I think is important, um, as entrepreneurs. And that is how to ditch the overwhelm so we can get shit done. Okay. So I'm going to give it a minute. Um, as you guys are hopping in, Hey Hannah, how are you? Hi Lauren. Hi Becky. Um, is, if you're tuning in and you're new to who I am, just give me a little shout out. Please say hello. Uh, drop in the word new. Um, I've been traveling like a mad woman, so I haven't been able to go live as much as I want to on this page. And I promise I'm going to get better. Actually, I have an interview coming up next Tuesday. So an email will go out Monday about it, but I'm going to be having an interview uh, on this page on Tuesday. Sorry, I have Landon home, guys. Um, one minute, honey. Um, okay, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. This one's not going to be as long. I'm sorry, guys. I have a little boy here who I've been working all morning and I need to stop when I'm done with this live, but this is the last thing I'm doing in my morning. See? This is how we prioritize our day. We have to organize. So he's been, he's been snacking and watching cartoons until I was able to get through my, some work this morning and a team training this morning. And then I wanted to hop on and talk about this because I feel like it's super important um, to talk about um, the overwhelm. Okay. So as you're tuning in, again, say hello. Um, if you're new, just drop new into the comments. And um, if you are new, when I'm done with this broadcast, head over to createsuccesswithjulie.com. Put in your email address and grab one of my free resources over there, okay? All right. So I want to hear from you. If you're having, whether you're inside of network marketing or maybe you own your own coaching business, online coaching business, or just you have your own home-based business, do you sometimes feel that you are overwhelmed? I want to hear from you. If you feel that you experience overwhelm in your business, um, I want you to drop me a one. Okay? Yes, more Cheetos, Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca obviously was on the team training with our team and saw that my son came in and he had Cheetos all over his mouth. Okay. So Angela says one. Yep. I... Um, I hear you. Julie says one. Okay. Okay. So as you guys are saying one, I want to hear from you why. So not just that you're feeling overwhelmed. Tell me why you're feeling overwhelmed. And you guys share this right now. Tag friends, tag your team in the comments or share because I think that this is a big topic because here's the thing. Like, we could build this massive business, but if we're not organized or we feel overwhelmed, it doesn't really matter because it means we're not happy. Do you guys understand that? It means that we're not happy. And so um, as a business owner, I bet you know the feeling of, of, of being overwhelmed because your mind just gets full of this fuzzy feeling, right? Do you guys ever feel that way where you're just like, I need to get work done. I need to get work done. I need to do this. I need to do that. And then you lack clarity. Okay. You, you lack clarity and you're kind of like on this hamster wheel. Do you guys ever feel that way? I want to hear from you. I want to hear why you feel overwhelmed sometimes. Hannah, it's all you think about. It's all you think. Of. So explain a little bit more. Right, because we're gonna, because there, you guys understand, there's a root cause to feeling this way, and this is something that I realize um, 
actually very often, um, is that we stress comes, um, it, it's not about like the work that we're doing. It's simply because our minds are too full. Our minds are too full. I'm thinking about, oh, I have to do this, but, but wait, I have to, I have to get this email out. But wait, I need to follow up with these five people for my business or yeah, analysis paralysis, or maybe you're, you're working on something like a piece of content and we, we want it to be perfect. Okay. And so what happens is we kind of get in this busy mode, busy, 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 where we're living in constant chaos. And then subconsciously we feel like that's how life needs to be to be successful. Does that make sense? This was something that actually was, um, was pointed out to me recently because I have a problem saying no to things I don't want to do. And I w w realized that I actually have conditioned myself to live in chaos. And instead of really creating a diligent plan and sticking to it because I feel like I need to be in five different areas of my business at one time. Right. Can I get an amen? Like, does anybody understand what I'm trying to say here? <laughs> because, um, there's systems to be had and, and we create our own confusion. We create our own confusion. We create our own chaos. We create our own hamster wheel we're on the treadmill, like whatever you want to call it, we create it. And so how can we stop creating it? And this is something that I'm working on in 2018. And so I wanted to share it with all of you. Okay. Because again, as entrepreneurs, we could hit the overwhelm button like this. And then we say we're overwhelmed, we're overwhelmed. And then we're saying it. So then we're, we're thinking it and we're saying it and we're thinking it. And it's time to shift our words. Okay, so a couple of things I, I've written down that I'm creating, um, so I have notes here, is a system, okay? And use a system regularly and really try and, and stick to it. And so um, this is another thing I shared on our team call is when you feel that you're like hitting your head against the wall or you feel overwhelmed or you feel like you're working five tasks at one time, you have to stop and you have to interrupt your pattern. You have to interrupt it, okay? And you start and you take stock and you say, okay, what's working, what's not working, and what might I do differently to move me towards my goals, okay? So what's working now, what's not working now, and what can I do differently to work me, that will push me towards my goals? And you guys, when I'm talking about um, setting up your daily ritual, you want to wake up and you don't want to check email. You don't want to check your messages. You want to do what you need to do in the morning. So what I need to do in the morning is my, get my kids off to school, right? So I'm not checking email. I'm not checking messages. I'm not going to add overwhelm to my life because in the morning, you guys, it's hot mess express in the Burke household. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if any of you guys are parents. If you are, give me some hearts if you know what the heck I'm talking about or if I'm just standing alone, but I am like, I got a seven-year-old and a four-year-old and we're like running all over the house trying to get them out the door, okay? And so each morning I wake up and I do what I need to get done and I don't stress myself out with messages that can wait. You guys, nobody's going to die if you don't respond to their message right away, God forbid, all right? Or, or you get their emails. So write down the night before what I do is I actually kind of take stock of what I did that day. So then at night before I go to bed, um, I kind of keep a running list. Okay. And I say, okay, write down the three key priorities you need to get done the next day. And then, um, you need to also write down the three key priorities, the three things you're grateful for. And then what you do is you label the priorities. This is what I got to get done first. This is what I got to get done second. This is what I got to get done third. Now, sometimes 
We will not get to number two or even number three, and that is okay. That's the part of our entrepreneur spirit that we need to start taking a deep breath and saying, that's okay, I only got through number one today because maybe the dog had to go to the vet unexpectedly or a child got sick and we couldn't do all of our priorities. Be okay with it, you guys. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's okay, all right? And so um, decide what you're, what you're then going to do and get it done and scratch it off. There is no greater feeling of scratching off a list. Yes, I'll be right there. There is no greater thing than scratching off a list. Do you guys ever feel that way? Like, even when we go to the grocery store, like, I'll be scratching things off. Like, yes, yes, got it, got it, done. When I have my to-do list, oh my gosh, scratching stuff off my to-do list is amazing, right? Does anyone else feel that way? All right, so um, decide what you're going to let go of. Decide what you're going to let go of of that day because you might not get to all of it and be okay with it. All right, number two, um, so that's number one is your daily rituals, okay? Your daily rituals every day. Don't wake up and answer messages. Write down the, the three key priorities. I like to do it the night before. Write down the three things you're grateful for and then get going once you start work to the number one priority and label them. Two, make non-negotiables with yourself. What does that mean? Uh, go to the gym. That's something I've been lacking, you guys. Go to yo- go do your workout. Um, go for a walk. Um, go to the grocery store because you need to go to the grocery store. Um, uh, go take a break for 10, 15 minutes. You guys, we need breaks. Go get your nails done for you ladies, right? Um, take a day off, okay? So just... Um, you have to be able to have that contract with yourself that you are not neglecting yourself because you're in constant overwhelm. Do you guys understand this? Everything is going to go back to the constant overwhelm, you guys. All right, get organized. That's number three, get organized. Come up with your system. Maybe you have a flip chart in your office. Maybe you have a whiteboard. I have these big enlarged white sticky notes that um, I put up on my walls, okay? Because I could always tear them off and put up a new one. So they're big, huge, large sticky notes. Um, maybe it's using an Excel spreadsheet, okay, for you. Um, just in, maybe it's you just writing it in your notebook, good old fashioned style, color coding. Maybe it's um, getting organized inside of uh, Evernote. Right? Do you guys, anyone, what do you guys use? I want to hear from you. What do you use? Your, are you old fashioned <laughs> like me? I still use a paper calendar, you guys. Or are you like high tech with using your phone? Let me hear you. Are you, are you old or new? Just, are you old school? Or are you new school? Just put that in the comments because I love hearing from people what they use in, in terms of uh, staying organized, okay? Another thing is you want to dump all your stuff. So again, um, don't carry everything up here. Dump it on paper. Just let the pen lead you. Okay, Denise is old school. Awesome, Denise. I totally hear you on that. So when you want to dump, um, you want to just let the pen guide you. Like I said, like almost don't even think about it. Oh, Lauren has old, old school paper and diary. Yes, I'm totally there with you. Um, and just, you know, keep that page. So what I do is I have notebooks and I have dedicated notebooks to my business. And so I have a journal that I just kind of brain dump in. And that is so important to just get it out on paper. I, I, and don't even worry about organizing that. Just get it out on paper. Um, okay. So Landon just... I'm going to have to cut this short because our TV is blaring right now. Uh, Hold on. Hold on one second.
I'm sorry, guys. He's crying. Come here. All right. So he went to go touch his cartoon and literally probably went on level 95 and hurt his ears. It's okay, buddy. All right. So I'm just about done. I'm going to just walk you through one more thing that I do. All right. So when you prioritize, I want you to, to really listen. Listen to this, okay? Because this is really cool. I want you to set up a piece of paper with four quadrants, okay? Four. So draw yourself a box, and I'm going to walk you through this. So imagine that you, ha you split these quadrants into fours, and you're going to label each quadrant. So you label each quadrant. One is going to be your urgent, important, okay? Urgent, important. Another one is important, not urgent. And then your third is not important, urgent. And I'll walk you through this. And then your fourth is not urgent, not important. Okay, so you're probably going to have to go back and, and listen to this again. Um, so the urgent, important, you guys, if you prioritize like this, this is something I've been doing. It's been huge. Okay, this is, it, it's been pretty huge for, the, for stopping the overwhelm. Urgent, important is the things that needed to be done like yesterday because you know how sometimes we think that things need to be like done but they really do it's not like do or die do you guys know what i'm talking about so um it doesn't matter how big or small typically this is really time bound like it needed to be done yesterday okay so maybe you've been like maybe you've been lacking on follow-up maybe you've been lacking on um, doing a Facebook live, like just do it, right? Just get it done. Okay. So it's not, I think Facebook live and staying with that is urgent because if you want to ramp up your following, if you want to ramp up your business and start ramping up, um, you, you, you know, your, um, just relationship base, right? I truly feel that doing Facebook Lives is urgent. I'll say it until I'm blue in the face. It's how I've been successful in my business was by doing Facebook Lives, okay? So urgent, important. Important, not urgent, is things which feel urgent, right? Um, because you want to get them done. You want to get them done for a while. Um, but your business is not going to implode if you don't get it done, okay? So again, categorize. Categorize what you need done. And then not important, urgent is these are the day-to-day -day interruptions that we have. These are um, the emails that we have to get to, the meetings we have to get to, um, the, 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 um, it will, if you are still doing the home party scenario, I teach building online, but the, that's what, that's is like where everything falls into place is there. Okay. So they might feel time bound, but in the grand scheme of things, um, you know, they might not be as vital where you can book them when you want to book them. Remember, you control your schedule. And then not urgent, not important. So put anything that really isn't important in your business um, here. And delegate what you can. You know, delegate what you can. As you're growing your business and you're expanding your business, you need help in that area. So understand where you need help. Right now, I need help in several parts of my business. And so... I'm able to delegate so I can focus on what I need to do, which is building my business, like the actual day-to-day -day task of what it takes to move me forward to building my business. All the other stuff that I do in my business, like sending out emails to my list, um, I have other people that do that, that send, I write them, but they send them for me, if that makes sense, okay? Um, because all that takes time. Um, so you guys, all I want to do is I want to help you guys to get more clear, prioritize, not get overwhelmed because if you do, um, it's not going to, you're not going to be effective. You're not going to be effective. And when you're not effective, you're not effective for your team. If you're growing a team or you're not going to be effective for your business. Okay. So you guys, I hope that was, um, useful for you. If you are watching the replay, come back in. Put in um, hashtag replay. If you're new to me, like I said, just put new. I'd love to give you a shout out. And uh, I always forget to put my phone on. Do not disturb you guys. And yeah, John, it is. It's about structuring your day. It really is. And letting go of those things that you cannot get to and be okay with it. And be okay with saying no. And be okay with making a decision um, to say no. <laughs> if it's not going to move you forward 
towards your ultimate goals. Okay. So you guys with that, I'm going to, I'm going to head out. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, I have Landon home with me today and not that he's the interruption, but he, <laughs> he totally just screwed up our TV. So I need to go check it out. Um, anyways, I hope you found value in that. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below, uh, feel free to reach out to me. If you're new to me, like I said, go to my website, create success with Julie.com, drop in your email and grab one of my free resources. I have many there. Okay. Uh, till next time you guys be blessed. Make sure you check your emails Monday. I have an interview coming on this page Tuesday that you do not want to miss. Um, he is a freaking machine when building a network marketing business. So if you're building a network marketing business, you definitely want to be here. Okay. Um, so I look forward to seeing all of you guys real soon. All right. Bye.